are very glad to be here. And um, we thought we were going to start with an Estonian song. And because it uses Estonian words, I'm going to translate them just before that. But it's a very famous tune and a very famous melody and very famous poem. And see if you, if you get the point of the poem. Foggy meadows, like a bed of foamy flowers. Everyone has their song of heart. For everyone, it's different. I'm walking through pasture, calling belayed songs home. And they are coming from pine forest hills. The last one still remains foggy. Every flower here knows my songs because they all have eaten from these pastures. Only a mischievous one has escaped. Foggy meadows around. The flower in my hand has withered. Everyone has their song of heart. And I will not find mine yet.
concert. Um, we came from Estonia and my name is Henry. I'm 13 years old and I study voice and cello. Next, my brother is going to play Johann Sebastian Bach. I study in uh, Tallinn Music High School and I'm going to play you a piece written by Bach. Uh, we usually perform it at churches, churches because it's uh, very holy and uh, uh, I'm going to play two parts of it. I'm going to play Adagio and Fuge uh, from the G minor sonata.
Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Heiki Paul, and I'm the head of this family. Um, <laughs> me and my wife, we've been studying here uh, in this country before. And actually, Johannes was born in Ohio. So he's lucky to be a citizen of the United States. <laughs> and Johannes played a very serious uh, music by Johann Sebastian Bach. It was the last piece was a few. There's a theme, and then the other melodies is starting to chase this theme. And it's very serious and uh, powerful music. It, it is said that when you listen to this kind of music, it makes you a better person. So I believe that. Uh, now, we are going to play uh, by another composer who is more of a romantic, uh, but a little bit mysterious. He's French. Uh, his name is Glier. Glier? How is in English, Lier is how it's written, Reinhold Lier, and we discovered he has written quite interesting pieces for cello and violin. I'm just going to add, it's going to be two pieces. Uh, the first one is slow and the second one is fast.
music. Thank you for that. A little bit. Um, well, Ra because Russia is right next to us, we, uh, we, are, we have been affected by their music and culture and politics all the time. is also part of us, because Russian music is absolutely wonderful. Uh, and next we are going to play, I think, one of the most famous composers, uh, Sergei Rachmaninov uh, from Russia, who actually came to live uh, here in the United States all his life, and his career has been here. So he only stayed in Russia to study, to get married, and then they actually live all their lives here. And his music is wonderful. It's, it has very classical things, like a classical composition should have, but it also is uh, very similar to musicals, pop, culture. Something about his music is very accessible and easy. And this particular piece is uh, written when he was very young, in his early 20s. So it's very passionate. And we hope we, we still have it in us. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you. 
very classical, it's not romantic, but in my personal opinion, it's one of the probably happiest tunes I have played. It's written by Ludwig van Beethoven. How many people do know, do know Beethoven? <laughs> yes. So Beethoven is usually serious, right? On the pictures, like the eyebrows are usually like very <laughs> serious, like us. Uh, this is his very first composition. It's Opus One, Number One. Uh -huh. When something is like that, it's the very first thing you do, and it's super happy. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Suggestion to do this piece, but Henry actually has done it before, but singing in Estonia, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we sang it to Rebecca through Messenger in Estonia. Yeah. And she loved it, so she asked Henry, can you do it once again? And we thought, well, you're, you don't speak Estonia, so we have to relearn it and sing it in English. And he was, uh, he did a very good job. So you can hear. It's a very famous piece. Can you say what it is and where it's from? Uh, I'm singing, uh, I'm, I'm going to sing Remember Me from Disney movie uh, Coco. Oh. Remember me I have to try 
Most of you know us. I'm Jordan CV. I teach music, chorus, and band here. And I'm Jackie Stern. I teach cello and orchestra, history. We just wanted to take a moment to, first of all, thank all of you for coming out to this event today. And uh, also to thank um, Rebecca and Fernando and also the Palm family, um, whose musicality is only exceeded by their graciousness and generosity. Absolutely. Um, we're so thankful that you've, that you've donated your time and talents and music to us today. So thank you. I think as you all know, when you came through the door, um, you, were, you were in for a, a, a varied and delightful program and the Palm family is very generously uh, donating the, the proceeds for this concert to our Music Scholarship Fund. Uh, just a little word about the Music Scholarship Fund. Um, everyone at Green Meadow, from third grade all the way through 12th grade, uh, studies an instrument and is expected to take a lesson on that instrument as well. Um, and for, for those uh, students for, for whom it's a, a bit of financial hardship, we try to offer some support uh, through the Music Scholarship Fund, and we are extremely grateful for, to, to them for, uh, for making these funds available to us. And we hope you will uh, thank you for your donations, and you can continue to donate generously and attend our concerts in the future and, uh, and enjoy the, the, pro the product of what, of what we do here. I've learned this uh, piece by Halvorsen. Uh, it's, a, it's an interesting piece that it has a very classical theme and then many variations on that theme. And uh, it's also usually played as at the end of programs on very big stages, on big concert stages. So uh, we have uh, tried to do that as well. And we really like that piece. Halvorsen, Pastagalia.
Thank you. 